More than 16,000 reportedly dead in the aftermath of the earthquake. As Syria faces aid crisis due to the blocked roads, and Turkish government is under fire for the lack of calamity preparedness. As the February 6th earthquake continues to record a high number of casualties, with over 13,000 recorded in Turkey and about 3,000 in Syria, and up to 23 million likely to be affected in both countries, according to the WHO. Both the countries are facing dire humanitarian crisis and political challenges. Syria, a civil war-stricken country, sanctioned by the United States and the EU, with only one open crossing from Turkey, Bab al Hawa, which is closed since the earthquake. Now, the crossing, however, is expected to open soon, according to the Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Çavuşoğlu, along with two more border gates for the access of aid. The aid pledged by the EU and others will be a political challenge. In terms of its distribution in catastrophe-hit areas under the control of both the government and the rebels. On the other hand, the Turkish government is under fire for the lack of calamity preparedness. Here are a few challenges that the government is right now facing after the calamity. 1. The leader of Turkey's main opposition party, Kemal Kilic Darolu, criticized the response by the Turkish Disaster and Emergency Management Authority for being too slow saying that the government was not sufficiently prepared in advance. With the elections coming up in May, President Erdogan is looking to win another presidential term against the opposition leader, who is expected to contest as well. Now, the handling of this natural calamity will be significant for shaping the public opinion. Two, many are questioning the earthquake resistance policies of the ruling party, which remained in power for 20 years in the earthquake-prone country. According to estimates, the earthquake tax which was established after the devastating earthquake of 1999 that killed more than 17,000 people has led to 88 billion Turkish lira collected by the government in the past 24 years. The government has not been transparent regarding the spending of the tax money, which is meant to be used for the public service projects, adding to the public frustration. And lastly, when the government criticism increased after the slow arrival of heavy machinery, censorship was observed across social media in Turkey. Pro-government channels were accused of muting dissenting voices of the public, and access to Twitter and TikTok was reportedly restricted. Turkish police also announced arresting and detaining those who added provocative posts on social media platforms. The alleged censorship, if true, would only undermine the rescue and relief efforts of Erdogan government and give more meat to the opposition for the campaign against the government. At a time of humanitarian catastrophe, it's significant for Turkey to unite in the rescue efforts and provide relief to the survivors who are out in the freezing open, rather than carry out the political rhetoric. With that said, the response of the government will surely be a make-or-break situation in the upcoming elections for the government. I'm Tayyab Anasar Khan, and this was your Daily Dispatch.